This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of a game which is more famous for the size of the controller than the actual game, but let's step on things with giant robots together in Steel Battalion for the Xbox. running away from me? Get back here! I've played a lot of mech games over the years, starting with the amazing Mech Warrior back in the early 90s on PC, but I've never played anything like Steel Battalion until Steel Battalion. The game with what's gotta be the largest controller ever made. It's like the cockpit of a giant mech more than 40 buttons and foot pedals. It's a sight to behold and a pleasure to use. I've already reviewed the controller. How's the game? Steel Battalion, released for the Xbox in 2002. Die! Yes! What are all these warnings? I don't, I don't know what... Going on. It's a game meant to realistically simulate piloting a giant mech, so I'm glad that David sent along this helpful guide, because Steel Battalion has a massive learning curve. You will need to RTFM. I have to pee. Or answer the phone. This is war, son. There's no pause button. So just pee on your phone. On the surface, it seems like a lot of other games I've played. Enter your giant robot and destroy things with missiles and machine guns. But it's the sense of immersion that Steel Battalion gives the player, which separates it from everything else. Aided in part by the giant controller, but there's also this scene where you sit in a cockpit and it like closes around you and the sound effects are amazing. Each time you start a mech, it's a process and it never gets old. It's, it's fun every single time. But I still haven't said a word about the gameplay yet. How's it play? A lot like Mech Warrior, if you ask me, which, which is a good thing. It's the near future, there's military unrest, and giant VTs, or vertical tanks as they're called, are the weapon of choice for laying waste to everything in front of you. So, you know, think Mech Warrior, Gun Griffin, Armored Core, any number of mech games. But this one stresses immersion and realism. And it totally succeeds, of course, as you can see. And here, turn up the audio for this one. You'll, you'll want to feel it. You'll want your neighbors to feel it, too. When you're playing the campaign mode, if you don't eject in time, you'll, you'll lose your character and have to start over. Steel Battalion can be brutal and frustrating. Half the game is conquering the controls. Once, you, once you've done that, it plays like a lot of other games, but it, it's really fun. And I can see where a multiplayer Steel Battalion would be amazing. But who could afford it? I mean, I think this game should have a massive learning curve. It was a couple hundred bucks. Every detail's there. If you get lit on fire, you extinguish it. If your window gets dirty, you wash it. Your controller has a thousand buttons because there's a thousand different things to push in your cockpit. This is like the Microsoft Flight Simulator of mech games. You're, you're not going to be an expert in, in one day. You're not going to be an expert in a week or two. In short, Steel Battalion is a game for those of you who are serious about stepping on things with giant robots. I've been playing this for a few weeks on and off, and I'm still just getting up to speed with the controls and trying to get through some of the easy missions 
Even even though David from Brooklyn was kind enough to send me the cheat code to unlock all the robots. Like the really good ones. One of the joysticks moves you left and right, and then there's a thumbstick on there that swivels your head around, and the other joystick aims your machine guns and locks onto targets, then you've got a throttle. It's it's a lot to take in at once. But it's so damned rewarding when you actually get through a few missions and figure the game out and you know, there's things to step on, like like tanks and soldiers and bunny rabbits. It's it's great. So I've got a classic game room. I can't believe you sent this giant box to the show sized. Thank you to send to David from Brooklyn, New York for this amazing game and the controller which is larger than a giant Cadillac. Thank you, David. Thank you for sending Steel Battalion. And I love the pictures you sent me. David built a sensory deprivation chamber in which you play Steel Battalion to, to get the full experience, including like warning sirens and, and stuff. It's on the internet. It's quite a game. For those of you serious about your mech destruction games, who have a lot of room and some cash to spend, it's Steel Battalion on the Xbox. Magazine change. That's good, because I got sick of reading this one.